So how do corporations compare to partnerships? Uh, the next couple uh, slides I'll share here just sort of, um, I guess, list the comparison. So as it comes to formation, that means creating a new business, partnerships are much easier to form. All you do is file a paper with the, uh, actually you don't even have to file a paper, you just do business uh, together as partners and you become a partnership. Whereas a corporation has to go through a fairly complex legal process in order to form. And uh, usually you have to hire attorneys and, and other things. So it's, it's more costly and time consuming to form a corporation. Um, with ownership and control, uh, in a partnership, the general partners have control that easy and a corporation managers who are hired by a board have control. And then the board is elected by the shareholders. In a partnership, um, all of the partners have to agree when you want to add a new partner. Remember that was one of the rights of partnership is that you have a right to, to choose your own co-partners and a corporation. On the other hand, stockholders can buy and sell the shares freely. Um, so it's actually easier to transfer your interest, your share of ownership in a corporation than it is in a partnership because you don't have to get the permission of the other owners. You can just sell the stock. Um, so, so partnerships, um, they'll share the, pro the profits and losses and corporations also share their profits and losses. And then and as it goes with taxation, uh, with the partnership, they have what's called pass-through taxation, which we've explained a few times before, which just means the business doesn't file its own tax return. Instead, uh, it passes through any losses or gains to the business, to the partners, and then the partners will uh, go ahead and, and pay income taxes on those losses or gains. Whereas a corporation has something called double taxation, which in essence means the corporation is taxed on its earnings, it files a tax return, uh, and then any, any of those earnings that it passes through to the shareholders, which are called dividends, the shareholders pay taxes on again. So that's a real downside to a corporation is that it, there's this double taxation. So all of these things combined mean that partnerships, especially limited partnerships and LLCs are becoming more often the formation or business structure of choice. Fewer and fewer businesses are choosing to be corporations and more and more are choosing to be LLCs and partnerships uh, just because uh, with the exception of, of uh, the ease with which you can share the, your ownership interest or, or, or even sell off your ownership interest, uh, with that exception, almost everything else is easier with a partnership or an LLC. So if you ever want to start a business that's capitalized through, meaning money is brought into the business through the selling of ownership in the business, then you really have to be a corporation because that buying and selling of stock is one of the easiest um, processes of, of buying and selling ownership in a business. But in any other situation, if you're just starting a small business or a medium sized business that you don't intend to sell off shares in, then probably a partnership or an LLC will provide you with the same type of liability protection of the corporation, uh, but with less of the uh, less of the, the challenges, especially as it comes to legal paperwork uh, and and some other issues.